Hey guys, it's Chili here. Let's take a look at the solution to the tutorial 8 homework. Now, uh, the, the plan, the mission that we had was to make the poos move around on the screen diagonally and also to rebound when they reach the edge of the screen. Now, the theory about how we make things rebound off the wall isn't too hard. If we got some motion like this, when it hits the wall, we can probably intuit that after the rebound, it's going to be moving like this. Right. And if we break it down into the components, we see that before the movement and after the movement, the velocity in the y direction doesn't change at all. But before the movement, the velocity in x direction is moving to the left. And after the movement, the velocity is moving to the right. So if, we're, if we rebound with the left wall, we're going to want to negate the x velocity and the same thing for the right. For the top and the bottom, we're going to do the same thing only for the y velocity. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if, we're rebound, if we've rebounded, if we've hit the edge. And if we have, we're just going to negate the velocity. So let's break it down into one thing at a time. First, let's do the easy thing. We're going to make the poos move on the screen. So what we're going to do is give each poo its own x and y velocity. Like this. And I set their velocities such that they're all moving in different diagonal directions. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is update their positions based on their velocities. And we'll do it like this. We add the velocities to their respective position variables for each entity. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to check to see if any of the poos are going off the screen. And if they have, then we want to adjust their positions. But unlike for the dude, we don't just want to adjust their positions. We also want to negate the appropriate velocity variable. Now the problem with this is that a function can only return a single value. So we want to change the x position and the x velocity of the poo based on the result in clamp screen x. But we can only return a single value and right now we're returning the adjusted position. So how do we also change the velocity? We can't do something like simply negating it inside the function like this because this would bind the function to a specific poo entity, and then we wouldn't be able to use the function for every single entity. Now we could go ahead and create a separate clamp screen x for every single poo, but that is not the most elegant solution. So here's what Chili is going to do. We're going to create a new scope here, and inside the scope, we are going to remember the x and the y positions of the poo. Then we're going to adjust the position of the poo, and if the poo after the clamping is different than the poo before the clamping, then we know that we must have hit the edge of the screen, and so then we perform our rebound. And we do the same for the Y. And there we go, we have the rebound code set up for Poo0. And we just copy and paste and change the values for Poo1 and Poo2. By the way, these curly braces here are optional. I just put them in because what happens is that these variables get cleaned up at the end, and it just makes it nicer in my head. It doesn't really make a big difference. So if we build and run this bullshit, we should get our poos bouncing off the walls. Keep calm and eat the poo-poo. Oh, and they had to start in the freaking farthest away from the wall. But go bounce. Yes! Success. I haven't fucked it up yet. And everything seems to be working fine. So there you go. That is Chili's little master solution. You use the result uh, of the X adjustment and you compare that to uh, infer whether or not you have collided and then you perform the velocity bouncing. Pretty nifty, huh? Now there are other ways of doing this. Uh, like anything in C++, there's about a thousand ways to skin any particular cat. But this is, in my opinion, the most elegant way that we can do it that only uses the techniques I've taught you so far. But of course, if you tried some other ways of doing it, Feel free to share in the comments, or if you have any questions or whatever, I don't care. Dick jokes, it's all good. And I'll see you soon with some more C++.